guessing uh, Martini is always like, uh, you know, it's a, maybe a cliche, but it's always like an amazing, amazing uh, afternoon drink for me. So if we can make, make good Martini, I can really appreciate it. So I would say Martini. Not really, no. No, I make them. Yeah. I make, I'm glad to make them. But no, usually I don't consume them, no. Mm, probably I would just use my, um, my experience and just uh, know how to balance a uh, sweet and sour drink and then how I would tell them how I like it. I would tell you the amount of spirit and the amount of juice and the amount of sweetener right. to use and, you know, and then what to do with it. That's beautiful. I like it. Yeah? I like it. To this day, we only have a very subjective way of measuring uh, flavor in general. So we either say, like, if we're talking about sweet, we can talk about not so sweet, very sweet, um, sweeter than uh, something else that I'm used to, etc. But uh, looking at it uh, empirically would be probably easier for the, at least for the professional uh, uh, um, population. That, um, you know, that's a, that's a good question. If it's, not, if it's not taking away the sexy element and it's still, you know, being scientific and uh, very precise, empiric, etc., but still remaining uh, to the point and sexy and, uh, you know, all part of the, the bartending experience, then yeah, sure, of course. Mm -hmm. I think that anybody who's in the food and beverage industry can use something that gives them this kind of data that was not available before, of course.